Since Matt's busy doing merch right now, can I ask you some questions while you're doing that? Okay, cool. Okay, um, the music videos. I've noticed there's, I noticed there's uh, a pop, what? You guys, um, can I work this out real quick? I'm gonna go meet up, uh, are you, are you, are you, are you a huge ass on the back? No, that's a long <laughs> That's a long question. Fine, you. But, but no, I, I've noticed the music videos have a, like, consistent running theme of nearly naked women, and you guys, like, subjecting yourselves to things. Is that, is there like a, is there like a, a masochism thing going on with Power Line? No, no, no you, don't, you don't think so? No. I, I kind of detected something like Actually, that. the first video we did was that Buffalo video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It would, but, I mean, that was, a, that was a big party. And all of our uh, friends showed up, and just so happens that a few of them are gay. So we got this really weird, like, like pro-gay thing happening. Like, uh, MTV's gay channel, what's it called? Uh, Every channel? Logo. Hot hole? <laughs> it's the lo I think it's logo. Logo, logo. 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 yeah, okay, yeah, logo. Logo uh, yeah. asked us if they could play it. We got a whole bunch of weird, like, very pro-gay, like a gay magazine as part of and all this stuff. And we almost got pursued so as just being, like, <laughs> a gay band, which was fine. We didn't care. But, uh, so the next video, we were like, let's make sure it's only girls. So, but that doesn't necessarily. So the next video. Well, well, but 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 you counteracted that by having you know you you guys in the skin tight. Um, I think they actually have like a fetish for those if I remember correctly. Yeah. I think there is actually. There is. Okay, so so. Was I didn't that, know about that until after we got them too. Now I can participate in anyway. So um, yeah, the video idea thing uh, really is a complete accident. Like. We have all these ideas to make videos, and the ones that are the dumbest, we have the sleaziest things, typically the easiest ones, and the ones that the guys are directing the videos, so we are more amped to it. Like, if we say, hey, we want to make like a trauma style movie, there's going to be like blood, yeah. we spend a lot of money. Yeah. Nope. One of our friends on directed three like, yeah, okay. But we're like, hey, we're going to have a bunch of girls in our underwear, and all of them, like, let me do it, I'll do it, can I do it? So, so, so we, you know, you know, Coffin's here, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, you, this is your opportunity. I, uh, you know? I saw. I already went to his booth and I talked to him. And, well, I didn't do that last time. Yet. The last time they were here, I talked to all the other guys that were there. This time when we went by, it was the same people. Yeah. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to ask about was, have you played Demon's Christ? I don't even know what that is. Well, I was I was on Twitter and I asked you guys if you knew if you would do a collaboration. Wait, are you being stuck? No, you're not. I, I, okay. I, I, like, I, you, I, have you played you're a lot like, of nerd shit, but I'm not. not wait, wait, I'm you're not. a nerdcore showcase. You're headlining. I a nerd. have nothing to do with nerd. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking nerd. Shit. I am so you disappointed right now. Pro nerd I was hoping we could. I was hoping we could like write Doctor Who fanfics together or something. You know. We can, but I'm just gonna <laughs> bullshit the whole time. Hey, you know what? That's what it is anyway. But, but no, but seriously. Um, I was suggesting that you and the proto men get together and do like a like a heavy, you know, um, industrial vibe yeah, uh, 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 Demon's Crest collaboration, you know, because uh, yeah, they, they they need more of a like as much as I love their music, they need more of like a you know the new albums are like worrying me because it's a bit it's a bit on the um, thank you for saying that they sound like me. Meatloaf? Not people, that, that, people that challenge me on that, like I think call them to say Meatloaf sucks. Totally and yeah. Yeah. We've been talking about that for some Actually, time. that does kind of make sense now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not trying to come to that. No, no I, 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 that's not a bad thing for people who like me. Like, you know? But, um, but yeah. Uh, Actually, Martin might know about that even What's Martin up to? He was supposed to be in here. Uh, he's probably in here. I have no idea. He's the one that actually knows about Nerd stuff. <laughs> like, I, I really am like there's comic books and then music. That's okay. like all I know. Okay. When it comes to nerd shit like video games, that's all. What about um um I've been listening to this and and and, and this is really interesting because Oh wait, wait, Demon's Quest, you're talking like Gargoyle's Quest. Yeah, Gargoyle's Quest, yeah, 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 and he's in the new, um, yeah, 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 he's in the new office, you guys need to do, yeah, Red Arena, yeah, you need to do a concept album about, like, all the gems and shit, you know, like, just like a little EP with, like, some of the Proto Man guys, there's just been so many, like, little variations of the same games that, like, I yeah, yeah, I, like, I honestly stopped even giving a shit about video games, I'm still, like, super Oh, and I'm still a 
Dreamcast. What about the Dreamcast, man? I never was really well. I mean, I did. I liked like some that crazy some taxi stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It just was never. A See, man. It's video games have become just like music. I think you really have to kind of dig to find the stuff that's worth paying attention to. Which, speaking of music, um, I, the whole reason why I'm interviewing you guys is because I'm, I'm doing like this whole, I'm, my blog, I'm going to start like a whole series on how like chiptune has kind of invaded genres rather than the other way around. Because the chiptune has evolved through people incorporating genres into it. But I've noticed that now like bands are starting off with a sound and then kind of adding chiptune to it. You know, which which results in a completely new, I think, form. Like, there's this one band called the J.R. for Keens Band, and they're doing like ska chip tune, and it's, it works so incredibly well. Are they adding it in like the Desperation Guild kind of thing, like just in the background? No, like, I mean it's very much like, like part like, of the the composition. Like, um, I, you would have to hear it, but to say that it's like um, equally balanced between the two elements is putting it kind of mildly. They they perfected like blending the two, you know. And then, um, and then there's, you know, this is nothing new, but there's like, you know, a, a chip tune dub movie, you know? yeah. yeah. And I'm not talking about dubs, I'm not like crap. I mean, like a dub yeah. chip tune movie. Yeah, I, None I, of that. I no wub wub. These guys are doing like classic, like scratchly, like, hairy ass yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. dub with chip tune, which is freaking brilliant because yeah. yeah. those two styles, like, it seemed like they would clash, but they actually mix really well. There's something very soft. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost the same. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's that forward thinking. You know, taking electronic. The one drop is basically just like the complete of uh, Nintendo. And yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, but yeah. So basically, the reason why I want to interview Powell is because you guys seem to be taking the the party core. <laughs> party core. I, that's the only way I could possibly like isolate you guys from the chip tune sound because I don't want to call you like you know IDM or anything like that because it's it's not got that same uh, you know intelligent element to it. It's party music. You know. But calling it club music doesn't really do justice. Yeah. You know? It, I, it's, it definitely put ourselves in a weird corner. Yeah, and I love yeah. that. That's why I wanted to interview you guys. Yeah. Because this is the first time I've heard a chiptune band that doesn't have any contrivance to it. It's like you guys, you, I imagine you probably just grabbed um, and, and just like, we were like, okay, I'm going to make noises over your chiptune and we're going to do like our stuff. You know? we, we initially, Martin was just doing uh, like Mega Man covers, like on like, uh, his laptop. Yeah. Just totally just doing that. And I was trying to tell him about the, I was really into Gears May and uh, Mode Sleep, Animal Style, and like, uh, uh, Mode Sleep, thank you. Oh, uh, Way to Star Screen. Yeah, all like, oh, Star Screen. Listening to them, I was like, man, there's a way of doing this whole, like, uh, the, the video game thing that you like. Yeah, and still, your own shit. Like, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. You don't have to follow the same, the same repetitive yeah. formulas that And so when we started doing it, we, we just started making the kind of music that we were really making. So we'd both been in bands. Yeah. Like hardcore pump band type stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it really just sounds like music that was made, but happens to be a lot better almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, I, I don't know, there's not a lot of like, uh, when you're in a band, you have to like make sure the bass player is happy. Yeah, freedom. Sure the yeah. yeah, this, 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 this is just like, and... Martin says, I wrote this, what do you think? And I say, can you make the verse longer? Yeah. Can you make the chorus longer? Yeah. yeah. That's no, the beauty of it, you know? Yeah. And what's cool is Martin's got enough engineering that he's turned what would with any other chiptune artist be like kind of, you know, um, passive chiptune music and it's really aggressive, yeah. throbbing sound that I've never heard from chiptune before. Yeah, like I said, and that just comes from us playing that kind of music. That's really and cool that you we, guys come from that. And we uh, basically were like, man, I love playing in bands, but it's getting older and it's getting more work and it's spending all my money. I wish I had a band that I could just play a show get crazy drunk if I want, <laughs> and get beer if I have to, yeah. that kind of thing. And uh, we were like, let's just do this, and get fun, one off side, we were only going to do like three or four songs a side game. You know you guys remind me the most of is Atari Teenage Riot. We've heard that es especially yeah, that's, his, that's his awesome. Nintendo Teenage Robot project. I've heard that. And if you haven't heard that, it's out. It's basically yeah. Alec Empire doing the exact same thing that most of the Game Boy guys are doing. Yeah. But he's doing it with this, uh, you know, reimagining it as like this aggressive industrial stuff. I mean, it's still a strictly chip tune. And that, that to me, is more what I would hope people were taking from it. Yeah, absolutely. We had pushed more into like the more like the Game Boy style chip tune music. Like we had pushed more into like the more like the 
party you know, club. Yeah, yeah, the rest of them are going to like ship to specific. But that's not what it is at all. It's way, it's way more aggressive than that. Yeah. It's like Haley. Yeah, well, I mean, like, like, if you listen to some of like, the classic Criterion Dragon stuff, like Speed or, or uh, um, Deutsche Land was, was, was I, the beats are almost the same. It's just you guys have turned them into eight. Have you ever heard of a band called Cat Man Vino? It's like one of my favorite bands right now. And uh, it's a guy using basically an emulator and a lot of uh, 8 bit sounds and stuff. It's not like, you can't really call it, even put it in a chip to cast away. Yeah, sure. Because it's all fake. It's like uh, fake beer. And uh, it's just him and a girl singing over it. It's fucking It's called Cat Cat Bambi. Cat Bambi. It's like really, really good. And it's like, I heard about them because we started doing what we're doing. And my friend was like, dude, this is like, there are, someone's already doing it. You gotta hear it. You hear it. And I mean, it doesn't sound. No, like well, no, 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 of course but not. It's the closest band that I can compare us to. If someone knew them and didn't know who we were, I could reference that and be like, yeah. this is more what it's like. And that's, just, that's, that's cool though, because yeah, that way you have a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there is a little bit more noise. I would try. I don't like it. We use our ears. Are you serious? Like, uh, half stacks and full, you know, like yes, the bass amp. We just yeah. had well, feedbacking nasty noise. Yeah. Which is what I was going to find. Everyone thought we were noise people. Like our first three or four shows, people were just like, they're noisy. They get it. That's neat. And then when we were like, let's figure this out, they used a noise suppressor, trying to cut down the feedback, and they started using an actual PA. People were like, oh my god, it's just like Katie's hair. I thought this was like a noise, a nasty noise thing. It was like super dancing music. Yeah. Like, it turned some people off, but also like brought in a lot more people that were like, I don't want to listen to music to push my glasses up. Oh, my, up yeah, my some people are going to a show to actually move. Uh, some people just are like, I don't want to shut my yeah. brain yeah. off. It's when like, I go to a show, I'm either, I'm either entranced by what I'm seeing on stage or I'm moving along to it. Music and video games are so similar because you can look at a video game and be like, uh, like Left 4 Dead or something, and you like, it takes up your whole day. Yeah. Or even like Legend of Zelda, like you just get, you're, you were in that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And if you die, you piss, immerse. You throw your controller like, down. Music, music should immerse people. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also the kind of game that you want to play like Tetris. Yeah. Or like F -Zero. Punch Out. F -Zero, like that. Yeah. yeah. And you're just, all you want to do is shut your brain off. Yeah. Push some buttons and smile. Yeah. yeah. You can get drunk yeah. and still have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's one thing that Mark and I wanted to do with Powerpoint is be like, We've been in bands that have been challenging people for so long, and it's, it makes you feel good. But yeah. It's also like, you have it's to, such a struggle. Yeah, totally. And I, when I listen to music, I don't really want to listen to it. I don't want to be challenged most of the time. Like, yeah. I'm there, I definitely yeah. like post rock, you know, and music yeah. that like, yeah. takes some of But that's not what you want at the time. And I never see bands that are just stupid party music. It doesn't like, really happen. Why does everyone like Andrew WK? Like, every, every, oh, yeah. You don't like Andrew WK? No. Really? He's greasy and weird. Well, like his, his personality, you got to separate that from that. The music it's itself is so well, it's, it's it's propulsive. Too. I could smell him on stage. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, it's anyway, ridiculous. But with Andrew WK, it's like he's not pushing anything too. No, it's just dumb party music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess you do love that kind of thing. But yeah. that's well, the kind of thing. the same way, which is, I think is a great compliment. And that's me. that's what Martin initially was like. Yeah. If we're gonna do a band that we're just getting drunk and getting paid in beers, we have to. I want to just do Andrew WK. Oh, so, so, so what we're saying here is that basically Powerlifter is Andrew WK going like going eight bit. That might be like the best. I wish. It's not no, that's actually. I think that's really damn close to what you guys are. Well, apparently we're better than that. I, I, I don't. But I think so. But um, yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm gonna buy a shirt from you guys and you can.